Um, I know we talked on the phone, um, and you said you only had about 20 minutes, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to use your time as, as efficiently as I can. I want to start off by giving you my okay. Thank you. Um, I want to start off by telling you a little bit about me. So as you know, I'm with AT&T, okay? um, you know, we're a four, five, Fortune 500 company. Um, we pride ourselves in our customer service. You know, as you, as you may know, we're innovators. Um, we have great products and great services, um, and we have a very great customer base. Okay. Um, I want to start off by asking you, um, could you tell me a little bit more about your business? Sure. Um, well, my sister and I started this company back in 1970. We're carpenters by trade, and it originally just started off um, doing pictures and basically redesigning other companies' um, stores and it just flourished from there pretty much and we went into Ganola and wall shelving and I guess word of mouth draw the quality of our product and we've been blessed to have the success that we have today. Okay, well I want to congratulate you on your success. Um, after reading you know about you, I, I felt very inspired by you. Um, I could not believe that you know you started your business in a in a garage, you know, yes. and it came such a long way. You know, I would never have thought of that in a business perspective to refurbish, you know, um, the the furniture, the yeah. store furniture that you that you um, refurbish. Um, so I want to congratulate you on that. Thank you very um, much. So as a business owner, what would you say your greatest strengths are? Well, we pride ourselves on being a family-oriented company. We believe that no order is too big or too small. If you have something as small as five-dollar order, we're going to fulfill it if we can. Great. That's that's great to hear. You know, I'm also a family person myself, so I can totally totally relate to that. I wish I could start a business with my family. You know, you guys are so innovative. I congratulate you on that. Um, I wanted to ask you, in what ways? I know we talked a little bit on the phone. In what ways do you feel like I can help you grow your business? Well, right now, what we're currently doing, although we believe in being a family-oriented business, we understand that technology is a big factor into expansion for almost any company. So what we're looking for right now is technology. Okay. That's, that's mainly what I'm looking for today. Okay. Okay, great. Um, and I hope you don't mind that I'm writing stuff down. I just no, want to make sure do. I, do. I get everything that you're telling me. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to ask you how, how much, do you, like what, how do you get your clientele? Do you have a sales force, or how does that work? Well, we do have a sales force, okay, and that is their main job to actually prospect, um, uh, make sure that our current clients are recurring clients, and a lot of it is word of mouth and actually seeing our product and liking it, and that's mainly how we get all. Um, so, when your clients are out, so I'm assuming they go out and they do business, I understand that you have businesses in Atlanta, um, Nashville. Nashville as well. Um, so, when they are away from you, how do you guys communicate? Well, I have 15 to 18 employees, that's my core force, my core sales force, they go out in the field, and we're right now communicating by cell phone, but I have a slight issue with that, because Although, of course, they have cell phones. Who doesn't have a cell phone? Mm -hmm. Right? right. Um, but there's issues where, because we are in the South, you know, it can be a dirt road or something like that. Right. We're going to apply it. And I can't always contact them because maybe call drops or bad towers or whatever, you know, happens reception. with the phone. Yes, reception happens with the phone company. Okay, so what I'm what I'm listening, what I'm what I'm hearing is that um, reception is very important to you. So contacting your employees is very very important to you. Being able to get a hold of them, correct? Almost oh, we'll okay. Now, so you do not provide cell phones for your employees. So what I mean is you, you don't pay for them. You don't have a business line like a cell phone plan. No, we don't have a business account with our cell phones right now. Currently, um, it might be a good idea to go ahead and. Um, get something like that up and running. Like I said before, we're looking for technology. So um, 
the better the service, the better I can serve my customers, so my clients. Correct. Okay. So how does it affect your business if you cannot get a hold of your employees? For example, I know that it's for example, you don't you don't provide cell phones for your employees, so um, do they feel obligated to answer the phone, or can you always get a hold of them if necessary? I hope that my employees feel obligated <laughs> to answer the phone, because of course, um, well, that's honestly my only means to get a hold of them if they don't answer their phone because of the lack of reception or service that their current cell phone provider has, and I really don't know. Um, so, how much money do you think you could save in traveling expenses if your employees were to be able to either do video conferencing with customers themselves or with you? Do you reimburse your employees for traveling? Because salespeople, you know, they do a lot of driving. Yes, we have a reimbursement plan, and I'll manage that plan. Um, I'm looking to save thousands overall when I look at that because. Like I said, we're looking for technology now, and and with that technology, um, there's many times that my employees have to actually take initiative and make an executive decision whether or not they're going to go on with a account or something of that nature. And you know, I have a small school districts and things like that, but video conferencing might be something that I'm looking into because I can't always be there. That's what they're in there for. So what I'm hearing is that you know keeping in contact with your employees is extremely important to you, correct? Yes. Um, so I can help you with that. You know, AT and T we offer great business plans. Okay. Um, I actually have um, some information for you. Okay. If you bear with me, I apologize. Um, I have all the pricing for you, um, and as well as I want to show you what kind of devices we offer. Um, okay, so I tailored this because I remember you telling me over the phone that you know you had 15 to 18 unique sales force, correct? Yes. So these are the people that would be using these, these devices when on the road, correct? Yes. Okay. So we have several plans. Um, what I think would benefit you the most, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, uh, I, I'm here to service you, so whatever you need, I want to be able to give that to you. Okay. Um, okay, so these are our mobile share plans. Um, these plans include enterprise email, so that means that do you have a um, like a work email that you provide your employees, or is it a personal email? Well, I don't have a uniform um, email that I actually provide for my employees. I actually ask them to create a separate okay. that is strictly for business. Okay, um, we do besides this. There's, we, we offer so many great products and services. We also do provide businesses like yourself with an enterprise email as well. But I mean, you know, whatever you want to use, um, that's fine. So, okay, so these plans right here, um, all, all of the minutes are unlimited. For a business, for a business, you know, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of contact and you're not going to want to worry about using minutes. Now, for your employees now, is it an issue? You know, does it present a problem when your employees don't want to use their personal phones because they're scared to go through their minutes or through their data? Is that a problem? You know, I've never, I've never considered that or taken that into consideration. I kind of put that responsibility upon them to make sure that they have the accurate um, usage of their phones being in contact with the company. Okay. Um, from personal experience, you know, AT and T. I'm just. AT&T and to your employees, AT&T does provide us with business phones. So in my opinion, it's it's better that way so that you know we can be in contact with our customers at all time. You know, sometimes maybe a personal phone they might not want to consider you know answering the phone or do, or calling clients while they're at home because it's a, if it's a business phone they might see it a different way. Um, okay, so back to this. I'm so sorry. Um, so all the minutes are unlimited. Um, these plans up here might not suit you because they're all only for 10 lines. Now, would you be interested in doing more than 10 lines? Yes, definitely. Um, actually, 
And intervals of 10 will work out very well because I have 18 employees and my sister and I would definitely need this cell phone as well. Okay. Um, so actually these would probably benefit you a little bit better. Um, down here we have, the, this one goes up to 15, okay. 15 lines and it's max up to 25 lines. Okay. So, you know, it would be the 18 plus you and your sister, correct? Okay. okay. Now, as far as pricing goes, um, well, let me tell you a little bit about the features first. So, um, it has unlimited minutes. It's 40 gigs of data, okay? Then that's for everyone to share. Okay. Okay. Now, it has text, uh, unlimited text messaging as well. And if, if overage does incur, which I don't foresee that happening, um, because it's only, tw it's only going to be like about 20 lines, okay. um, so that's two gigs per person, if you think about it. And, you know, I've done some research, and the average um, data user does not go over two gigs of data, especially for business purposes. Okay. okay. So for this plan, so you can either do this one, it's 40 gigs for $20. Oh, I'm sorry, for, for 20 lines, I'm sorry. And then the monthly charge is $400, and then you would add the lines onto that. Okay. Now, um, as far as phones go, I wanted to, to show you um, some phones. Now, the good thing about owning your business is that we do give great discounts um, on devices for businesses so that you incur a small startup charge okay. to starting service with us, okay? So even a phone like the iPhone 4S, is 99 cents okay and you know it's a great device I mean I'm, I'm not saying you necessarily have to get that one but um, it's a great device um, we also have it, it you know it depends on what you're looking for even if you wanted to get your associates a smaller even if you wanted to get your associates maybe a more basic phone and then you need your sister get a better phone you have that option is this all making sense to you yes it does now, do you have any questions for me so far? I know it can be very overwhelming, you know. I know we only had a certain amount of time. Do you have any questions for me? Well, um, AT&T is, um, you do have a larger core for experience, but there are a lot of other companies out there that are new and improved. Um, what makes AT&T the right way to do Now, with AT&T, you would be getting, I take this very seriously. I take my customer service very when you deal with someone like Verizon, you're calling into a call center, you know, you're dealing with someone over the phone. With AT&T, you would be dealing directly with me. Any any of your needs that you would need, whether you have issues, questions, that's why I gave you my business card so you can contact me anytime. I take pride in, you know, my in my in my work and I would be your main point of contact. So that's what would set us, you know, aside from from other competitors. That's good to know. That's really good. Well, I definitely want to speak to my sister about everything that, that this meeting has entailed. Um, now, if, if AT&T could meet all the needs that you're talking about, so, you know, connecting with your associates and bringing that technology to your, to your business, would you see yourself entering into an agreement with us, potentially? I do. I do want to speak to my sister as well because she has a very important say so in my decision making and um, I've liked everything that I'm actually saying today but I just don't want to jump the gun and actually buy anything here right now. Correct. And you know I can totally relate to that. Um, you know you guys are business partners so I can definitely respect that. Now would you um, want to meet sometime like maybe next week? Um, definitely. Mondays are great for me. Okay so Monday? So, is there a specific time you would want to do? Um, anytime before 11. Okay. Now, before we wrap this up, because I know your time is very valuable, do you have any further questions for me? Um, I actually don't. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for this brief presentation. And um, I'll speak with my sister. And when we meet again, she'll be present. Okay. And thank you so much for your time.